G'day, my name is Prosper Taruvinga and right now you are watching a replay of a video that I'm actually recording live on Facebook. So if you're on YouTube, welcome and please hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of these videos. Today we're talking about creativity hacks that you can use during the holiday if you're a business person and you don't want to miss out on creating a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I'll be talking about how you can actually use magazines as a decoy um, because if you're gonna be on your phone over the holidays, people are not gonna want that. But if you're reading a magazine, it makes a whole big difference. Now I'm gonna segue onto the live section because uh, the participants on the live are coming through. Now make sure you tune in up until the end of the show and if you're watching the replay, just press the number two so that I know that you've gotten this message. Good afternoon. I'm hoping you're having a fantastic day there, Robert. And I can see Jamie is just tuning in as well. How are you guys doing over there? Obviously, uh, it is the Lunch and Learn, and I'm um, hoping that your week is going well so far. My name is Prosper Taruinga, and obviously you would know that every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit around here and we talk about how we can actually help your business to earn more money with less struggle. I see Nicole has just tuned in. Thank you so much for um, your time and compliments of the season. I'm hoping you... Um, you know, going to be celebrating with your family and everybody else that comes along with it. So for those that um, watching this for the first time, I want you to know that I viscerally believe that if you're running an online business, I want that business to be profitable and enjoyable. I see Robert is just tuned in. Robert, finally, we get to um, see you and you're not on jury duty today. Very well, thanks. And um, you would also know that... Um, you know, every single day we are sitting around here uh, for the next 30 minutes so that I can help you create an online footprint so you can optimize your business for growth and for profit. All right. So, you know, this, um, if you would ask people like Nicole or Robert, um, has been a long going show. I think we've been doing this for almost a year now. So I'd like to congratulate every one of you guys, Robert, Nicole, uh, Tommy, Tim and I think Joram there as well for having supported me throughout, um, you know, the whole year. It's been fantastic. And I see Troy has just tuned in as well. Uh, Robert, you finished uh, jury duty. Absolutely amazing. Um, as you would know, guys, I really want to inspire you to do things that inspire you. Hence the topic that we're going to be talking about today. You know, um, you know, it's going to be about creativity um, hacks that you can do or take on, uh, you know, during the festive season or during the holiday. Um, you know, the reason why I'm speaking about this topic today is I read an article on Upwork. Um, if you would, don't understand what Upwork is, it's a freelance site where people get jobs um, that you can plug onto if you can provide a service to other people, etc., etc. I was reading a, um, an article on Upwork and it mentioned that 34% of their people had not taken their profiles off for the holidays. That means they're going to be working throughout the holidays, all right? So what did that tell me? That told me something that is um, probably happening to those that are not registered with the network. People are not taking time off for holidays, and I think it is quite... Uh, disturbing in and of itself because we really have to rest and recuperate because you can't do well if you're not feeling well all right so I want to know are you taking time off for the holidays if you're taking time off can you type type in the number one if you are not taking time off can you type in the number two or if you are going to be working but still Time off, can you type in the number three? I really want to know the kind of people that are tuned in right now. I see Brian Gates has just tuned in. Welcome aboard, brother. Andrew Paneda, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. Uh, today we're talking about creativity hacks on, uh, um, you know, how you can stay productive while, you know, you're on holiday with everybody else. And I just mentioned that I was reading somewhere on Upwe, Upwork, where it was saying that a lot of people are not taking time off um, you know, for the holidays, they've left their profiles on there like that. Now, Troy says he's taking time off. Nicole 
is um is uh not taking time off. Okay, all right. Now, all right. See, whether you're an entrepreneur or whether you're a freelancer or maybe you're an employee or whatever you're doing, um, you need to maintain inspiration. You need to always be creative in order for you to create for and relate to the people you're going to be taking money off of. And it's really, really vital for your personal growth for you to actually um, be seen to be moving. Because if you're not growing, you're almost dead. And and in, in terms of you know entrepreneurship and business as, it, as we know it, nobody wants to follow a business that's boldly going nowhere, all right? So if, in order for you to inspire your clients, in order for you to inspire maybe your employees or the people that um, you outsource work for or the, the, the people you're creating content for, you really, really, really need to either take some time off, recuperate, or to actually show that you are progressing every single day. And it's not easy when you're, um, you know, um, by yourself or you're just a professional working, um, you know, you know, on your own. And um, unfortunately, when it comes to holidays like this, some of us have to actually go away from, um, you know, our our places of work. I operate from home, but we're going to be traveling or going places like that. And my family really needs me to be there 24-7. First of all, it's going to be difficult if you haven't set up your business in such a way that you, it can still operate while you're away. Or your clients can still receive content from you, etc., etc. Okay, so this is one hack that I feel like a lot of people need to take care of. Um, you know, as soon as 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 it's holiday season, please stay off your phone because your your family has not probably seen you the whole year, and this is the only time that they're gonna be seeing you. Um, but you can't. You know, stay on your phone 24-7, you know what I mean? It's rude, it's disrespectful, you're not engaged with what's happening around with the family, etc., etc. But, you are afraid that if you miss out on what's happening on your phone, you can't be in touch with your customers. Remember, your customers are also on holiday, so who are you trying to be in touch with, alright? Now, I've discovered one thing, don't tell my wife, um, that I utilize when, when we're on holidays or when we're going out there. Um, instead of me being on my phone, I keep myself busy by actually reading magazines, reading magazines that my prospects would be reading, all right? I'll, I'll show you something real quick, because with magazines, all right, with magazines, you can actually get to find out what offers are being put out there by, um, you know, other companies that are already taking money from your customers. How are they writing to them? What sort of headlines are they using? And you cannot be accused for being antisocial if you're reading a magazine than you would be accused for being antisocial for being on your phone. So instead of you, you know, uh, trying to um, have some alone time or just be or stuck on your phone, grab a magazine at, at, at the service station as you're going along. You are actually learning more than you would be on your phone while you're looking at the magazine and figuring out exactly, see, like this. All, all of this, it shows you what your audience is already looking at, what your audience is buying, because this magazine would not invest or would not waste real estate if this was not converting, all right? So this is what I do. I buy a couple of magazines, and this is a property magazine, and I know that my clients actually use all our property investors, so this is the kind of stuff that is being sent to them, so now I have an awareness of what other people that are in other industries are actually doing in order to hook those clients and actually sell to them, and Troy is laughing, so you can imagine if somebody is on a magazine, you, you can never accuse them for being antisocial. You know what I mean? But if you're on your phone, there's a stigma around that. So you want to just, you know, continuously do your work, taking notes and learning, but actually doing it in a very smart and clever way while you're actually consuming and learning, um, you know, during the holidays and, and nobody around gets hurt or anybody else thinks that you're ignoring them, okay? How many people think that's an actually good idea right there? So instead of being on the phone, use, um, you know, buy magazines because... As entrepreneurs, we rarely take a break, you know what I mean? And so half the time, 
it is actually to our own detriment if you don't take a break than if you actually take some time off and actually look at what other people in other industries are doing that gives you motivation, that gives you inspiration, that actually gives you, um, you know, creativity hacks that will help you through the tough times when you actually do need it um, later on in the future. All right. So. Let me tell you something. I think it was uh, Stephen King that mentioned this. He was like, amateurs sit and wait for inspirations, but the rest of us get up and go to work. All right. So at the end of the day, you might be thinking that you are missing out on, um, you know, um, connecting with your clients or creating content for them. There's a lot that is happening when there's a lot of people around or when families are gathered or when you're at a Christmas party or, you know, things of that nature. Bank your ideas, even the ones that you're talking to people and, 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 and maybe finding out what's happening with them around their businesses, etc., etc. At the barbecue there, people are talking about what's happening in the market. As entrepreneurs, you know what happens? We are always engrossed in our work. We're always engrossed in our business. We're always engrossed in what's happening in our industry. And we forget that the people we're actually going to be demanding money off of are general people that are out there that do not care any less about our business, but they care what we can do for them. So when you listen to those conversations, when people are drunk or when people are having a barbecue, it will help you understand what people are actually going through that you can solve problems for, etc., etc. So don't shun it when you're invited to a party over Christmas. Don't shine it when a family gathering is around because a problem might arise and you with your entrepreneurial brains, what happens? You pick it up and you actually find a solution that maybe other people out there are actually suffering from. All right. So bank those ideas that are going to come around over festive season. Maybe some things are not being delivered on time. Maybe some pro presents are broken. You might actually come up with an idea on how to actually package, um, you know, presents and then do a service, um, you know, next Christmas or something like that. So pay attention to what people are complaining about over Christmas period so that you can find solutions that maybe your passion or your business can actually service, um, you know, in the future. So make the most of these days, um, you know, when maybe you're not inspired enough um, uh, and, and, and build yourself a bank of ideas. It doesn't mean you have to execute on them, um, you know, immediately, but at least you've got something to work on on the days when you're actually productive and you want to do something there. I see Justin McLaren has just tuned in and Jade Fraser. Thank you so much for tuning in right then. So, you know, while you're out there, snap photos of people, snap photos of what they're wearing, how they talk, snap photos of whatever is happening because half the time you're always stuck in front of your computer and you hardly ever go out, you hardly ever, um, you know, listen to the news. So you don't know what's ha happening around there. Use this festive holiday to actually stay in touch and to, to catch up on whatever gossip, drama or whatever is happening within your families because you're not going to have that time next year when you go back to work. All right. And through that time, you can then, you know, mend those relationships with people that are going to be there for you in the future. No matter how crazy it might seem, use these holidays to your advantage. All right. Use these holidays to inspire you to want more, to inspire you to help others, to inspire you with ideas. Bank those ideas if you can and use them for later. All right. You know, I seen Tando has just tuned in. Uh, Madeline Blackmore has just tuned in. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you're going to be taking a break over this holiday or if you're going to be working throughout or if you're going to be half and half. Because I was reading a, um, a, an article from Upwork that says 32% of online business people are not shutting down for Christmas um, because they are afraid they might miss out on um, you know, business that might happen while other people are out, um, you know, celebrating. All right. So I'm just saying as an entrepreneur, take the time off, but use it to connect with other people that you wouldn't have connected with and had had the holidays not happened. Because look at this. I go out to family dinners. I go out to, um, you know, maybe family lunches or whatever it is. And within our families, there's already people that are maybe working in corporate or they're already doing certain things within their work. Get ideas from them. How are they succeeding in their jobs? How are they, um, you know, utilizing the resources that they have? Because don't isolate yourself. 
365 days of the year, you are sitting on your computer, you are working by yourself, and the only people you talk to are your clients. Talk to other people from different industries. Find out how they're doing it. Go out and talk to these people. You know, when uh, find out if you can explain to somebody what it is that you do who is not involved with what you're doing right now. And if they can understand it, if they can, you know, get your ideas, if they can actually, um, you know... Um, are interested in hearing more about you, then that means your peach, your elevator peach is fine. Because sometimes we think we know what we're selling. We think we, we people understand what we're, we're preaching out there. But half of the time, if you're not helping somebody, what's in it for them? All right. So you can also, you know, get great ideas as you converse with other people. Most of us are really stuck. We think we're connected, but we're not. How many people can you actually pick up the phone and, 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 and talk to and they can lend you $10,000 just from one conversation? I don't think we have that deep connection with other entrepreneurs or other people. So why not connect with our friends and relatives that you know, share the same blood as us that would look after us in the end? Because at the end of the day, look at this. I'm speaking to strangers right now, people that I might never meet in, in, in my life, but I'm having the assumption that I've got their attention. You, you Can you imagine what's happening if I wasn't looking after my family? I would be letting them go and then they're growing in their own path in, in, in which you know we, 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 we are no longer aligned. Because now I've got this fake assumption that people are actually you know, searching um, you know, and looking for me. People don't care. People are busy trying to live their lives. People are busy trying not to die. So people watch these videos just because they want to know what's in it for them. All right. Go out there and find out, well, how can you help more people? How can you reach out to more people? And always listen carefully, especially during these holidays, because people um, are probably tired of their jobs. People are probably frustrated about certain things that are happening in their lives. You as an entrepreneur, those are gold mines. Those are the things that you can actually take those problems and frustrations into a business. So seek out, you know, for people that actually are inspiring you. Seek out for knowledge that you wouldn't have gotten from your peers or from the people you normally hang around. Because let's face it, as entrepreneurs, we are in groups where other entrepreneurs are residing. So we speak the same language. We have the same scenarios. We have the same problems. But what happens to Uncle Sam who lives in, you know, Tanajuka, Tennessee there or Wadonga or Aubrey or wherever it is that he lives? You don't get to be in front of what he goes through every single day. Maybe there's a business idea there. And you never know what Uncle Sam or Uncle um, you know, John has been through. He can also mentor you because of his experience prior to um, you know, what, 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 what he's gone through. They can actually motivate you to want more from a different angle. So don't disregard that barbecue talk. Don't disregard that connection with other human beings. Because Uncle Toby might also know some people that know other people that can put you in a, in a better place than you are trying to put yourself right now. You know, so you, you shouldn't disregard the connection that can be created around, um, you know, these festive holidays. Because everybody is free, they're giving and they're generous. So tap into that. And then you might find a nook or you might find, you know, that rejuvenation or the validation of your point. So try not to always continuously being busy, busy, busy. Go out there and meet people this festive holiday. They might just be the inspiration you needed to continuously go ahead. Or you might have had an idea, but the end user is usually that person who is, you know, you know, on the street. All right. So you want to make sure that you, you speak their language. You understand their causes and their concerns. So that when you go back and you start crafting your funnels, ETC, ETC, then you know you're speaking to the right kind of person with the right kind of pain who you understand on a personal level. Because the avatars that we're looking for are always living around us. This is the family, the church members, all those people that we say, my avatar, my avatar. They are the people in the shopping mall. But if you're not going to go out this festive season and be random with them or just maybe start having random conversations that might bring up or spark up ideas, how are you going to know you're doing the right thing?
How are you going to know people actually get what you're selling? Because all these profiles, all these people you're going to be meeting are profiles on Facebook. Those are the ones that you then look at, you know, the, the whole demographics, etc., etc. Go out there, interview them on, uh, on weird topics and, and just get to see how they talk. Because you cannot influence somebody who does not respect you. You cannot influence somebody who does not understand you. You got to see things in your customers' eyes. And our customers, we live with them all day around us. Robert Brocker says, very true. It all takes is a brief random conversation with someone. I just made it enough to <laughs> fire me up. Exactly. You know, the people we are searching are, are around us. These are the profiles that we, 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 we ignore or we walk past. Now they're giving you an opportunity to learn them, to study them in, in, in their own habitat. Why not take that opportunity to learn people during this festive season? You'll soon find loopholes in what your, 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 your solution is supposed to fix. You know, you will be set on a path by people that don't even understand that you're actually giving them life lessons while you're talking to them. This technique can actually be marvelous if used effectively. You know what I mean? And uh, Megan, how are you going? Congratulations on you being an author. Megan says, that has helped me so far. Wor worked meeting. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, you'll be amazed how this idea will, would, I mean, ideas will start flowing because you already have an entrepreneurial mind. Somebody might not understand that by talking to you or even telling you, um, you know, how they feel about certain things. You can turn that frustration into a product or you can turn that frustration into a business idea. You know, I mean, obviously the internet is a, is an incredible place to find random information, etc., etc. But some of these people that we're talking to, they are wor working on the ground. They are the people that are putting out the credit cards. And we are trying to talk to them every single day. But we don't understand their language. Festive time is a time to figure out what are they actually going through that your problem or your solution can fix. You know? So instead of you just trying to be that online person, go out and talk to people in person. Because that's where the money is. And guess what? It's called silly season for, 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 for a reason. You know? Pop culture has great sources for silliness. Take your family out. Have laughs. Take photos. You know? Do stuff and bank all those memories. Bank all those photos. Because that's content in the future. You know, sometimes you can't, you can't have content, you know, stuck, you know, with you every single day. But when you're out with your family dinner time, you can use that as a content piece. When you're out with, in a big family gathering, or maybe you are giving a speech or you're talking just to your family, as long as you've got people that are paying attention to you and you're probably standing in front, who would know when you use that photo later on and then you say this was a speaking engagement? Be silly. Utilize all these opportunities, you know, when you're around more people. Because as humans, we are societal beings. Hold on. Let me just read what Glenn is saying. Glenn says that's indeed so applicable. Even with a wildlife re uh, relocation, I get to educate the people who ring me when I get there. Absolutely. Because people... People are looking to belong somewhere. People are looking for connection. People are looking for stories. So maybe you might find some stories that you can talk about, you know, um, you know, um, when, when you come back to work. Fish out those stories from real life people so that you don't keep repeating all the internet fables that um, uh, everybody is talking about. That's where you, 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 you seek out, you know, energy. That's where you seek out original content. Because I wouldn't know what your Uncle Sam told you. So if you write that and you make that into a product or you make that into a video when you come back on Friday, I'll be like, oh my God, Glenn is so original. So you need to find all those connections, all those people, you know, so that they can help you build your business when you come through. And make sure you're taking down notes. Doodle everything. Do you know what I mean? Wear crazy hats so that you can get people to start talking. Turn your cord backwards. Just do something crazy so that you can actually create stories out of that. Or even if you're watching Christmas movies, look at the, the story baseline. 
Because there's always that hero story, you know what I mean? That that, 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 that that story where something goes bad and then they go on a journey, the hero's journey. You know, look at how they craft those stories. And when you come back, you can now start putting content just because, you know, you, you learned it from a different person. You know, all of those things, you can always have fun over Christmas. You can still be working, still be doing whatever you're doing. Um, but if you've got your mind on the price, then you will figure out stuff as it is happening around you. You know, because we, we miss out on what's actually happening in the day-to-day -day life of our customers. And half of our customers are around us, the communities that we come from. Those are the profiles that we're trying to reach out to. We are never certain on what's trending. We only get what's trending from what our peers on the internet are saying, but not what's happening in the community. You know? So go out there, find out what's actually happening, talk to some people, kiss some babies. And before you know it, you've got content, you've got a good story to tell. So don't despise the holidays. You know? Use them to your advantage. First of all, you're resting. Second of all, you use them to connect to the people you haven't been connected with. And third of all, it's actually a way for you to grow. You know? And most of these people have stories. Those are ready-made content ideas. Because if you're running out of content, it means you're not talking to people enough. Everybody has a story. You know, so sometimes all you need to regain some creative momentum is just a bit of inspiration from Auntie Sally. She knows stories that not every other internet um, operator or any other online business person knows. Now, can you imagine if you now come and regurgitate those stories back on your Facebook Live? Have you not created content? So take time to actually learn from people that are not in your field so that you can understand what frustrations they might be going through. And then from then on, you come back fully rested and your mind is working on a different whole nother level. Because when you have actually spoken to the people and you have found, you know, your, um, you know, you, you found a solution for them. When you come onto the internet, there is always somebody who's trying to run away from a pain that you now know an answer or solution to. And Robert says, this will be an interesting holiday. Last year was a breakthrough. I hope uh, that it's built upon. Absolutely. And I see Paul Amez has just tuned in. Thank you so much, my brother, for the support. I know you're busy trying to get Oprah onto your show, but I'm really, um, you know, uh, humbled that you're watching my piece of the show today. All right. So at the end of the day, just take a break, guys, you know, because if you're not going to take a break, then you're only just going to be creating problems for you in the future. Give yourself a break. Take a walk with family. Connect with those that you haven't connected with. Spend some time, you know, at a favorite coffee shop. Watch a movie or two. Learn different stories. Look at your, your, your business from a different angle. Hear what other people are saying about what is frustrating them and find out if you don't have entrepreneurial solutions from them. You know, because burnout is real danger, guys. Let me tell you something. When we're starting in January, everybody's going to be full force. And you don't want to come in there laggard. You know, at the end of the day, you must really take care of yourself because your business depends on it. All right? I'm going to be taking time off. All right? So I don't know if this is the last one of the year, but um, I will be letting you know. Um, I don't know. The wife is always creating all of these things. You know? Let me know how you're going to be spending your holidays. And if, you, if you're running out of inspiration, it, it's because you're not talking to enough people. Being on social media is actually detrimental to your business. You know why? Because you actually are not understanding people's problems. What we're seeing on social media is people's representatives. All right? You're not seeing the real person. When you go and talk to them at a barbecue, when you're sitting by the poolside and you're sharing stories about your adventures, about where you've been and about where life is headed to, etc., etc., let me tell you something. You are on the right track because it is in people that credit cards reside. All right. It's not on Facebook profiles because at the end of the day, I could put a, a Facebook profile of anything. I could be anyone. But if you haven't spoken to me in such a way that you, you, you actually get me to want to listen to you. And as much as I want to give you my credit card, then you haven't gotten my attention. So learn to get people's attention over this festive season. 
you know, because we are all running to want to close deals, to want to create funnels, etc., etc., but we're not even doing the first part of client acquisition. How do you actually get somebody to get your um, their attention? Because attention is now a scarce resource these days. If you are not amongst people that are going to push you forward, if you are not connecting with other human beings, then I think you're doing your, your business a disservice. Word of mouth is what people are listening to a whole lot of these days. So if you're going to talk to Uncle John or Uncle Sally at the barbecue, he's going to pass on the word and talk to his friends, um, you know, during a smoke or when he goes back to work. And he'll be like, oh, you know, my little nephew there, he's a digital marketer. And before you know it, Uncle John's friend is going to ring you up and say, hey, listen, I want to start scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. But were they going to see your Facebook? They will ignore it. People now have automatic ad fatigue. You really got to connect. So why not take a break right about now in Christmas and this festive holiday and connect with people? Find out what their problem are, is. And if you can't really connect, you really really are bored around you, use the time not to look like you have disconnected yourself from society. Grab a magazine or something, you know, and use it to read what, um, you know, these people are paying loads of money to reach your audience. All right? I really want that you have a Merry Christmas or compliments after the season, whatever, however you celebrate, okay? I might be back tomorrow, I'm not quite sure. But at the end of the day, you can't do well if you don't feel well. So really, really take this time off because burnout is a real danger, guys. And at the end of the day, you really got to take good care of yourself because your business actually depends on it. All right. I hope to see you maybe tomorrow. If I'm not here, enjoy the rest of your um, holidays. Now, Robert says leaving someone feeling better about themselves than they did before. Our interaction is my default action. And jury duty was no exception to that. I always knew. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. All right. So let me know in the comments below what you're doing for the holidays. And um, if you ever feel like you don't have inspiration, go out and talk to some old people. They always have stories that would become original. And then you can be quoted on those. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your, 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 your day, guys.